Hi, students! Welcome to Geography 60 Introduction to GIS. My name is Ty McCarthy, and I'm going to be your instructor for this course. Right now, I'm going to give you a Welcome to the Class video tutorial that's going to walk you through the Canvas page, what to expect as far as the structure and format of assignments, the common types of activities we're going to be doing, how to communicate with me, as well as any other resources you might need to be successful. Right now, we're looking at the home page. Underneath the banner are blue links that will take you to the pages and modules we're going to be accessing on a weekly basis. Below that, some information on what to expect as far as when we're meeting for the virtual class sessions, how to view those recordings just in case you miss, and a link to the syllabus. And finally, below that, a brief course description that just reminds you what we're going to be learning in this class. If you scroll to the very top, you will see recent announcements. On the right hand side, your to-do list, and on the left hand side, links to the course navigation tabs. Now, when you first get started, you will select the Start Here First module. This is going to just simply walk you through what to expect in this course. You're going to read the syllabus, do a few icebreaker activities, and update your profile so people can know more about you. The second two links take you to discussions and the Ask Your Teacher Q&A form, which are going to be essential for our learning. And then you have the module links. Let's go through one now so you can see how the modules are structured. When you select on the module link, it brings you to the module overview page. And this is going to be the same structure for every module. At the top, you're going to have a little overview of what we're learning, then some rules about when to turn things in, links to turning in your virtual lecture summary assignment just in case you miss, and then the weeks broken up into the activities. It's always going to start with a reading and then a discussion based on that topic, a check your understanding quiz, and then finally a lab to apply that knowledge. Some weeks you're going to have just one part and some weeks there will be two parts. So make sure you pay attention to that. And then at the bottom of the overview page, you will have resources, links to any lecture slides I went through during the virtual class sessions, any handouts or videos you might need to help you. Then you begin the lesson by selecting next. This will bring you to an overview of what you're going to be learning and doing for that part of the module. And then you simply continue to hit next and work through each page of the module as it progresses. Now, you can also access the modules by selecting this tab in the course navigation on the left side. And this will show you all the different pages in the modules and how they're broken up. This will be nice in case you want to pick up where you left off if you didn't complete a module. Lastly, on the far left hand side is your global menu. Here you can select your account and customize your notifications as well as your profile like adding a bio or a picture. You can also access the inbox which will be the primary form of communication. This is basically an internal email communication tool which you can use to communicate with me. And you can also access help through here. Um, so that basically sums up how the course is structured, what to expect. Um, I'm really looking forward to having you all in my class this session. And thanks for listening.